Welcome back to the Sticky Art Channel. If you're new here, my name is Justin. I'm an artist and graphic designer, and in this video, I'm gonna be going head-to-head -head against AI art. Over the past year, and especially more and more recently, I've been hearing that AI or artificial intelligence is going to be taking over artist jobs. And when I first heard this news, I was pretty surprised, but at the same time, kind of curious. And I finally decided to go head-to-head -head and actually challenge AI art. So for this challenge, I'm gonna be doing a four-style challenge I've been doing a handful of these over on my other channel, Sticky Art Shorts, where I take one drawing and draw it in four different styles. This first style is one of the most requested and popular ones. It is called the glow effect or a neon effect. It's supposed to look like a neon sign. So I went ahead and did this in my style using Posca markers on a black canvas. And then I went over to Dolly, one of the most popular AI art generators, and I generated it from this prompt pretty good looking Spongebob neon sign. For each of these four styles, let me know in the comments who you think did it better. And keep in mind that I am using Posca markers, which do have a little bit of limitation as far as how many colors, as well as the fact that the markers are a little bit on the larger size. So I kind of stuck to a more cartoony style. That being said, also let me know in the comments if you'd like me to try this challenge again, but maybe do it with digital art using my iPad and Procreate. I think it'd be a little bit more of a closer battle. But that being said, I think for the first prompt, I would call it a draw. I think both of us achieved the desired prompt. And for this next prompt, I'm actually drawing SpongeBob as Bob Ross. I decided to go in a cartoon style and trying to keep it to kind of like a similar style as SpongeBob. Drew some happy trees, got some purple mountains. Blades of grass. Super happy trees. And overall, I'm really happy with how this came out. I think I stayed true to the SpongeBob style. I went ahead over to Dolly and entered SpongeBob dressed as Bob Ross in a cartoon style. And this is what I got. I was actually kind of surprised it came back with a really simple kind of cartoon style. Definitely does not look anything like the SpongeBob that I know. And then it just had a brush, didn't really look like Bob Ross either. So I went ahead and tried to kind of change the prompt. Using a more photorealistic style. And it came back with this, which for the most part was pretty a lot better, but it was very scary in some ways too. If you look closer at some of these images, some of the hands and different features are misformed to the point where it would take a lot of time to actually fix this to make it look normal. And I think we definitely beat the devil out of the brush or something out of the brush. We're gonna go with the devil. And this one looks like ice cream. It looks like you took a big chunk bite out of it or SpongeBob took a big bite out of it. So there's definitely some weird stuff going on with the creation of realistic images. However, you could really see how this could be used to start as a base and then somebody could come in and fix a lot of these. And I'm not really sure what is going on here. I was trying to make out what it said, but I think it says linoleum on his chin. Since AI was not able to create a cartoon style SpongeBob Ross and then had so many issues with the realistic style, I'm gonna give myself the first point. Moving on to the next style, which is drippy or hype beast style, which just involves drawing the characters with expensive clothes on and pretty much anything that is super popular as well as gold chains and brand names. I drew mine with a sup box logo, some Crocs and socks, some really nice shorts with some flowers on them. And this is probably one of my favorite color of Posca markers. I added a big gold chain and a letter S gold pendant for SpongeBob. as well as a gold watch to match. And to finish off the blinged out look, I gave SpongeBob a golden grill. I ended up deciding to add Gary in the background and I'm gonna make him drippy as well.
Since I gave SpongeBob a golden S pendant, I decided to give Gary a golden G pendant. I actually really like how this style came out and I'm excited to see what AI art comes back with. So I went ahead and entered in the prompt, hit generate, and waited with a lonely robot holding a balloon. And this is what AI art came back with. Once again, overall, the images look pretty good, but if you look closer, there are some really weird things that are going on, a little bizarre. And Definitely got a lot of the aspects of the prompt, got the gold chains, popular clothes. However, it's doing some really strange things and some of the things that are actually really cool and conceptual that I probably would have never done. But that being said, it still has a lot of issues that need to be worked out to be a complete, or I would say a completed image. But overall, I think work really well with Hypebeast or even like high fashion design, just because the designs are so random and unique. I ended up entering in the prompt and modifying it a little bit, trying to make it a little bit more simple with a cartoon style rather than the more realistic. And once again, AI Art did a pretty cool job at just making some random images. So we've got some shoes that are made out of gold chains. Looks like some Bape shoes. And this one's got on what looks to be the new Yeezy Crocs collabs, as well as a Bitcoin hat. Overall, I'm actually gonna give this one to AI art just because of how random and conceptual the designs are, which I think fits the prompt of Hypebeast really well, which brings us to a tie. So for the last style, I'm going to attempt to actually draw SpongeBob in a Vincent Van Gogh, Starry Night, kind of painterly style. The original Starry Night painting by Van Gogh was done in oil paints. And since I'm using Posca markers, it's a little bit harder to match the style, but the style is characterized by painterly brushstrokes that are fluid and also kind of give a motion to the actual painting. And I did my best with the Posca markers, and I think I did a pretty good job of achieving kind of like a flow to the paint. I really like how this last style came out, and the painterly brushstrokes going over the different layers adds a really cool level of depth as well as an underwater effect. I went back over to Dolly and entered in the prompt. Out of the prompts and styles, this was one that I was most interested in seeing how AI would do in recreating a famous artist style. And this is what it came back with. Definitely not the Van Gogh that I was thinking of. Looks more like something that maybe Van Gogh made in elementary school with tempera paint and a sponge. But this is more of the Van Gogh that I was thinking of with Starry Night. And you can see the brush strokes are a lot more methodical. It's got an organic flow to it, kind of like wind blowing. And really nice brush strokes that are somewhat even, uniform. Something that was completely missing from the AI art version of SpongeBob. And zooming in, you can really see the brush strokes with the thick paint. This is oil paint. And I tried to recreate a little bit of this with the POSC markers, however, I was not able to go as thick uh, since the POSC markers are acrylic. For the last prompt style, I'm gonna give myself the point, which gives me the overall lead. But let me know in the comments who you think won, whether you think AI art did it better or if I did it better. And I had a lot of fun with this challenge. I actually wanna try it one more time, but try it with digital art. Let me know in the comments also any prompts you wanna see me go against AI art with. After completing this challenge, I don't think the AI art will be replacing artists anytime soon, but let me know what you think in the comments, and I hope you like this video. If you have not already, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for when I post my newest videos, and until next time, peace.